welcome to Extreme Motivation. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Be thankful for all the challenges that came your way. Be thankful for all the people who came into your life. Be thankful for all the people who have always been there for you. You know, around this time last year, I just got my fitness training certificate. I had a lot of things going on outside of college, but most importantly, I had two weeks to my Electronics 2 final, and I had a 42% in the class. Even if I passed this final with a 70%, I was still gonna fail the class. So I went ahead and I pulled my professor at a critical time. And the moment I did, there was about a group of, three groups of five to six people each. They all looked up and they looked at me with a smirk on their face because they knew I wasn't doing good and they didn't want me to make it. Even though I was always there to help them out, I always had their back. They didn't support what I was doing outside of college. In college, I was an electrical engineer. But that just motivated me more. It motivated me more. And when I went to the office to speak with the professor, I told him, listen, I really don't want to repeat this class. Uh, I, I understand that if I pass the final, I'm still not going to be able to pass the entire class. But I was hoping maybe you can curve my grade if I showed that I understood the material a little bit. He looked at me and he said, Listen, man, if you can show me that you understand the material just a little bit, because honestly, this whole semester, you haven't shown me that you understand what's going on in class. And honestly, I had no idea what was going on. He said, if you can show me that you understand the material, that you understand this class, that you deserve to pass this class, then maybe I'll curve your grade and you can pass the class. I told him, okay. I will. I went ahead, I came home. I hired a tutor for two days. And after those two days, everything started to make sense. And I put all my time, energy, and focus into that one class. And I went from understanding nothing to everything clicking. Everything made sense. And I put hours and hours and hours every single day. I didn't work out. I kept my phone off. I stayed distant from everyone. And I passed my other classes. Then this one was the final exam that I had that went last winter. I went in there and I felt like I had crushed it. Two or three days later, I got the results and I had a 92% on my final. And I passed the class with about a 75%. Because you get what you put in into any and every single activity that you do in life. If you want it, go get it. If you believe you can do it, then you can achieve it. But you gotta be willing to put in the effort. You gotta risk a lot of things. And you gotta be willing to put the time and energy and focus into what you really want out of life. A year later, today, I'll tell you, these past couple months since I graduated in August, it's been another fight. I've been rejected more times than I can count. Even with the positions, job positions that I felt like I truly should have been in, even if I was the best candidate for the job, they still weren't taking me because I was a fresh graduate and it was a true struggle. And there was always that thought in my head of me going back to the past. You know, maybe I could escape this reality by going back to who I was, by hanging out with the same people that I used to hang out with. But I stuck it out, and I believed that something good was coming my way. I believed that all these rejections were happening for a reason to make me more prepared for next time. And today, I'm an engineer with one of the biggest aerospace companies in the world. I just got a new position, and I started in two weeks. Just like I had two weeks from today for that final, I have two weeks till I start in this job right now. And I am so thankful and so grateful for everything, for every single moment, for every single challenge, for every rejection even. 
because if it weren't for those rejections, I wouldn't be who I am today. And you wouldn't be where you are either. Appreciate the moment. Be thankful and grateful for what you already have and understand that you have just got to believe in the process. All this is happening for a reason. It's all happening for a reason. Happy Thanksgiving and have a phenomenal day. This has been another episode of Extreme Motivation. Subscribe to my channel for weekly episodes. And if you haven't already, make sure to check me out on Instagram at Extreme underscore Motivation for weekly workouts and more videos like this. Have a phenomenal day. Choose to achieve greatness now.